my beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly requested and I'm finally sitting down to do it for you guys. I have been listening to you. I'm trying to get a ton of new videos out to you guys because I am started vlogging again so it's like I've completely forgotten what I was doing here on my beauty channel. But if you're not already I'd love for you guys to follow me on my vlog channel. I'm vlogging daily. It is tough but I do enjoy it. I love it actually a lot. So definitely head over to my vlog channel, I'll link it down below and uh, go and um, you know, subscribe if you want. <laughs> Today's video, getting sidetracked, is about the delicious palette from W7. So many of you guys have asked me to review this, talk about it, show it in a video. Is it like the Renaissance palette? Mm turn it that way. Is it like the Renaissance palette? Are they dupes? What do I think? Am I impressed? The packaging of this eyeshadow palette is definitely a little bit more flimsy. I will say that straight away than the Renaissance palette. It's quite light. It's just cardboard. I know the Renaissance palette is cardboard also, but there is a little bit of weight in it. You can see from the both of these palettes that they are quite similar. We know from another video, I put the MUR Makeup Revolution palette to the test with this and we did find that they were so close. Did I call them a dupe? I think I did. With this palette, it's a completely different story. They look so similar to one another, but I did find that some of the shadows performed quite differently on my eyes, which you can probably tell. And you will see that in the tutorial, that my eye makeup is very different on this eye, which I use this palette, to that eye, which I use that palette. My eye makeup looks a little bit strange today, and you know what, I'm just gonna own it. I'm gonna be swatching the Delicious palette and the Modern Renaissance palette so you guys can get an overview of them. So not to spoil too much, the shades look the same, but the formulas are very different, which means that the eyeshadows do come off a little bit differently on the eyes. So that is the one thing I will say. I definitely find that with this, the pigmentation is definitely not there. Before I do head into the tutorial, I'm gonna give you a couple of facts in regards to this palette. It costs 12 pounds. I bought it off the W7 website. It took two days to get to me. Obviously, the W7 like location is in the UK, which is just across the water. So it wouldn't take more than two days to get to me normally. And I was pretty impressed with the shipping, how well it was packaged, it looked great. They gave me a couple of samples of their foundation. Great customer service. They sent me confirmation of purchase and they also sent me out the shipping reference and stuff like that. So great for me in regards to purchasing from them. So I'm gonna go into the tutorial now. If you have any more questions in regards to this palette, then definitely leave them down below. It's a UK brand. I'm pretty sure they would ship worldwide, but definitely check it out. Let's head on into the tutorial to see how I got this eye look and what I think of the palette both of them side by side, swatched and all that, and then come back at the end and I will give you my full review and is it a dupe or is it not? I'm taking the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Rose. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with that. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Now on this eye, I'm gonna take the Delicious palette from W7. I'm gonna take that top shade there and I'm gonna set my eyelid. And then on the Modern Renaissance side, I'm going to take this shade here. So that's Tempur Tempura. I'm just gonna place that all over my eye and I'm already noticing that this is much more pigmented. Now I'm gonna go in with the big fluffy brush and I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade Burnt Orange. I'm just going to place that on the inner and outer corner of my eye. Burnt Orange is amazing, really pigmented, it blends out so well, like it's just like a dream to blend it out. I'm gonna go in with this shade here now, which is the equivalent, and I'm just gonna place it again in the same positioning. So already I'm noticing a huge difference. <laughs> this is not in any way, shape or form as pigmented. Okay, I'm noticing a huge difference. This is not in any way, shape or form as pigmented as burnt orange. It's definitely buildable, but I've had to use an awful lot of shadow just to kind of get it to this intensity. Okay, I'm gonna go straight in and deepen up this look now, and I'm taking the shade Realgar. I'm just gonna place this with a 217 brush again on the inner and outer corner of my eye. I think if you pick up too much of this with your brush, you just get like a huge amount of shadow. So definitely less is more. So now I'm gonna take this orange shade from the Delicious palette and I'm just gonna place it on the same positioning. The pigmentation of this is not bad, I will say. It's, it's pretty 
pretty okay. It's pretty decent actually. It is, I don't know if it's evident on camera, but it's looking like this is just a little bit more of a brown orange, whereas this is more of a straight up kind of orange. It looks a little bit different on my eye. I'm using this on a Morphe M433, just in case you were wondering. Okay, I'm gonna add in, I think, Love Letter next, which is this pinky shade here. I'm gonna use as many shades as I possibly can because it, like, it doesn't really matter. It's not about the eye look, it's just about seeing what the shades are like. We're just doing like a halo eye. Like I said, it's not about the eye look, it's mostly about how the shadows perform. Picking the tiniest amount of the shadow because it is super pigmented. Now with a Morphe M503, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade here, which is in the same place as Love Letter, and I'm gonna do the same technique. Okay, I'm noticing a trend with these shadows just as I'm placing them on. It's kind of hard to describe, but the ones from the Modern Renaissance palette have like a black base to them almost, or with the Real Gar shade, the, red, the orange shade, it kind of has more of a brown base to it. Like, whereas these I find are just like a mono shade, they don't actually have a base to them, which is why I think they're just showing up so much more pink and orange and stuff like that on the eyes like you can see they're very different like this is definitely a little bit more pinky so I'm nearly gonna call it now at this stage before I even do the swatches that these are totally not dupes because of the bases of the shadows and I think that the Makeup Revolution palette was definitely a much closer match. I do still like the palette, but I don't think they're dupes. Like, you're not getting the same eye look. My eyes are gonna be two different colors. <laughs> and out of all the palettes that they've ever had, this is one of their better ones. I've tried tons of them, and they're poor quality, whereas this is pretty good. I'm taking my Morphe M507, one of my all-time favorite brushes, and I'm taking Cypress Umber. This is super pigmented as well. We're just gonna go light with this. I'm just gonna pop that in the inner and outer corner. This look. Now before I move on to the other eye, I'm just gonna go back in with that Maybelline color tattoo and just pop that in the center. Just before I place down any other shadow, I just want to kind of leave this part clear. And then I'm taking the M506 brush with this shade here from the Delicious oh. palette and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Oh my, okay, we're getting absolutely zero pigmentation from this, I'm really having to dig my brush in. Like Cypress Umber is so pigmented in the Modern Renaissance palette and this is not pigmented at all. This is probably one of the poorest shadows I've used now. These are two different eye looks, like they're completely two different eye looks. It's gonna look a bit weird in the, in the video but there you go. I feel like from the Modern Renaissance side you can see Cypress Umber, you can see Realgar just a little bit there and then you can even see Burnt Orange that I used initially. You can see the gradient of shadows whereas on this eye they didn't blend well on the eye. They just kind of merged all into one another and I definitely at this stage I'm preferring the Makeup Revolution palette to this because it just blended a little bit nicer on my eye. Again I'm just popping the Maybelline colour tattoo in the centre there. We'll come back to that in a moment. So I'm taking Vermeer, this shade here, on a shader brush from MAC, and I'm just gonna pop that in the center. Just look how vibrant that shade is. And then I'm just taking this Morphe brush, I will write down the name of it because I it's rubbed off. <laughs> I'm taking this shade here from the Delicious palette. Ooh, it's very powdery. Definitely one of the closer shades to the Modern Renaissance palette that I'm finding today. So now on the Modern Renaissance side, I'm taking Tempura again on a little pencil brush and just placing that underneath my brow bone and just into the inner tear duct of my eye. And on the other side, I'm taking a different pencil brush and I'm just going to pop it underneath my brow bone as well and into the corner of my eye. I don't know. Looking at both of these eyes on camera, this one is not blended out at all very well. Quite blotchy and just doesn't look good, whereas this side looks definitely a little bit tidier, more blended. So the bottom one with the names, obviously the Modern Renaissance palette, and the top one is the Delicious palette. Quite similar looking. From the tutorial, you will see that these shadows don't seem to have any base. They don't have any depth to them. They're just kind of 
one dimensional shades. I told you about this shade down here, this kind of orangey shade, that it is just orange, whereas Realgar has more of a brown undertone to it, and you can see that even when you place them on the eyes and blend them out. Did find with the Delicious palette that I kind of blended all into one kind of like red mess on my eye. I found that the shadows weren't distinguishable once on the eyes. I'm gonna start with Tempura and then it's equivalent. So Tempura is on the top, you can see obviously much more pigmented, and then the equivalent of it on the bottom. So let's just swatch them on my hands. So this Tempura and then the shade beside it. So not much color payoff there. I'm gonna go with Golden Ochre and then I'm gonna take its equivalent in there. You can see where I'm talking about with the different types of bases. You can see that red, that Golden Ochre has more of a depth to the shadow, whereas this does not. Golden Ochre and then it's equivalent. I'm gonna take Vermeer next, so that's Vermeer. I use this one on my eye in the tutorial and the dupe for it is not too bad. It's not too unlike it. So there we have Vermeer, and then beside it I have the one from the Delicious palette. It's a little bit powdery, you can see that there. It definitely doesn't swatch as well as the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm taking Bon Fresco next, and then I'm taking the purple shade from this. They're not bad actually, so let's swatch them. So it's not bad, definitely not the best, like you can see that the quality of the swatch is not really there. This is obviously Bon Fresco. I mean, you can just see like the Anastasia ones all along are very pigmented. Next I'm gonna take Antique Bronze and then we're going with the equivalent Antique Bronze and then the one from the W7 palette. They're not dupes in any way, shape or form. You can see that this has much more of a deeper base tone to it. Again, I find that these shadows just are one dimensional. We're going with Love Letter anyway. I'll take the one from the W7 palette so you can see them there. I use these on my eyes. They're, they're not bad, actually. They're not a bad match, but on the eyes, they're very different. Going in with Cypress Umber next. Nowhere near anywhere near the pigmentation that Cypress Umber has. It's one of the most pigmented shades from the palette, so I wasn't expecting anything great from the W7 one. Okay, we're gonna go into Raw Sienna, and then I'm taking the equivalent in here, and then swatching them. No comparison, really. The Anastasia one is blowing the W7 one out of the water. Let's see what they're like swatched. There's no comparison between Burnt Orange and the equivalent from the W7 palette, they're just not the same. Okay, next of all, I'm gonna go in with Primavera and then take the equivalent from the W7 palette. That's not actually a bad one. It's a little bit more powdery than I would like, but I think if you put like Fix Plus in it, it wouldn't be too bad. Red Ochre and then the one from the W7 palette, not bad. Definitely not bad, you could build that shadow up to that intensity. Now I'm going in with Vetner in Red. Oops, I swatched them the wrong way around, sorry guys. So that's the Anastasia one and that's the one from the W7 palette. So it's Warm Taupe and that's the one from the W7 palette. Realgar, oh, super pigmented, it's just gorgeous. And then the one from the W7 palette. So they're not bad in these like last five that I swatched are actually kind of the best out of the palette. Guys, thank you so much for watching the tutorial and the swatches. As you can see from me swatching the Delicious palette versus the Modern Renaissance palette, there is like no competition whatsoever. I'm gonna say these are not dupes. They look the same. The W7 one is definitely trying to imitate the modern renaissance but it cannot compete with pigmentation even the makeup revolution one that i showed in another dupes video so you can see the makeup revolution palette there on top i found that the shadows in this were much more superior so just to show you the comparisons of it so you could probably see on my finger here that's the W7 one and that is the Makeup Revolution one. The W7 one is very powdery. The shadows are definitely very, very close, very similar. The pinks are different and the orange in this, I actually like this orange. One of It's one of the best shades actually, I think in that entire palette. They're not dupes and the only reason I can't call them dupes is because the formula is just too different. They're just not the same formula. Whereas the Makeup Revolution one has a slightly less pigmented formula but they are quite 
close in color of the shadows whereas I got two completely different eye looks today. It's definitely a better formula than any of the other W7 palettes and I've tried all of them nearly at this stage and I think this is one of the best formulated W7 palettes. Guys I want to say a huge thank you to you all for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this makeup, no what was it, makeup tutorial and swatches. I hope you enjoyed this dupe or don't video. I love filming these. Send in any more of your requests and send me anything you want on Twitter or on Instagram if you want me to review it because that was actually sent by a subscriber they wanted me to review this palette so thank you so much guys I really appreciate that and I will talk to you all in my next video I love you guys Mwah. bye